back to my channel as you can see this is not my usual background I am on a trip so I just actually landed I am in San Diego I am celebrating one of my close friends bachelorette parties and yeah I'm the first one here so I landed super duper early like I was supposed to land at like 9 30 I was gonna wait for my friend in an hour you guys I've never been in a plane and this is why I know the pilot must have been a Massachusetts pilot because the way we got here, I've never beat my time, I guess, or the, had the arrival time, be over an hour early. Like what? Over an hour early, you guys. So um, I was like, okay, do I wait at the airport? Do I not wait at the airport? And I just really just wanted to just get settled in. So I came to the Airbnb. For those of you who are planning on going to San Diego anytime soon or anything like that, I will definitely link this Airbnb down below in the description box. I do want to give you guys a tour, but I'm giving you the background story first. So I came here, and another thing I want to tell you guys, uh, this has happened to me two times in a row when I've come to California. So you guys know in February, I was in L.A., and now it's april i know y'all i i know you're probably wondering girl how's it april and i'm watching the vlog whenever you're watching this vlog but i'm trying but um i'm here in san diego in april and i i'm just weirded out by this a little bit so when i landed in la i got in my uber there was this lady that was walking or like that was in the uber area if you guys have ever flown through lax you know you walk far a little bit not that far to be honest it's like far in cali standards i guess um to go catch an uber and i walked and i got in my uber and there was a lady who asked if she could join the uber with me and go to her destination and luckily at that point my uber driver was kind of like Mm, this is like a solo trip that was booked but like he was willing to help her supposedly she doesn't know how to download the app she doesn't have the app for uber she's just trying to get a ride home she she don't know how to download that cool so i just never thought i was like oh okay like that was nice of my uber driver to take the time to try to show her how to download the app cool so but to me i, I just was like oh that's kind of a little weird because personally if i didn't know how to work it i would just use a taxi but to each his own so then wrote it off right not even worried about it why did i just land here in san diego and i catch an uber mind you again you walk to a little destination where the, they pick you up and i'm a little bit further out so he comes i walk towards the car right so I, this is a main point of the story i walk towards the car Another lady, who low-key kind of looked a little similar to the lady from LA, was like, oh, are you going to CX? Ma'am, I don't know what a CX is, okay? I just got here. I'm just trying to go to my destination. So I just laughed it off like, no, sorry, no. And then she's trying to chit-chat with the Uber driver like, oh, because, yeah, um, I want to join the ride. We could do ride share, and you could bring me to CX. Where's she going? She's going downtown. And I'm like, first off, sir, why are you giving all my business like that? She does not need to know where I'm going. Second off, why are you having a full-blown conversation? I'm already in the car. So, basically, <laughs> he comes and asks me if she can come in the car. And I'm like, no. And... I feel like everybody from the East Coast just has this natural, like, 
like when you ask me a dumb question i can't hide it like i definitely thought that was a dumb question what do you mean can she join you saw that i came from a different location you saw i, I don't know this lady so i was like you know let me clarify i said i don't know this lady and he said oh but you know what's on the way i said i don't know this lady and then i said i also did not book for a ride share i booked for a solo trip so i think he could tell i was getting a little low-key annoyed and um then he told her and she's like oh, oh never mind i'm sorry that is not a coincidence how are all y'all she kind of looked like she was like probably mid 40s maybe early 50s no one showed you how to download an uber app and if so how do you feel comfortable enough to get in a car with somebody that you don't know at least if you're actually doing a ride share everybody is kind of vetted out you know your uber drivers vetted out they have a background check then you whoever's using uber supposedly is going to be vetted out that doesn't necessarily mean the person getting in the car is the one that ordered the uber but you know there's some sort of kind of like agreement thing going on so we drive out he's like yeah because she's going to cx and then i swear i heard him say she was going to mexico so i'm looking at him like so you thought she was just going to go to mexico from my account because if she doesn't have the app how are you getting paid so i was just like no <laughs> we're not doing any of this ma'am find somebody else find somebody else to do it so got over here and i tipped him because obviously i'm thinking he's thinking from like money standpoint i'm assuming like you just want to consolidate rides you get more money yada 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 cool 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 but for me number one i don't know who you are number two i'm in a different location that i don't live here so number three who the hell gets in a car like that like what is this modern day hitchhiking we don't do that so she and also i don't understand when people do this because you physically have to walk past a taxi to get to the destination of where the ubers pick you up pretty much a majority of the airports that you travel to so you mean to tell me you knew you didn't have the app but you said let me just walk on by the taxis and go to the rideshare app and even if you didn't have cash for the taxis they will literally bring you to an atm so that you can get cash like i've done that multiple times so no play play with somebody else so just want to let you guys know to be careful when you are traveling regardless you should always be careful but pay attention because i don't know what type of modern day hitchhiking and i was talking to my mom on the phone and i'm like you know all those little stories of cults and all these kidnapping a lot of shit happens in california so no get somebody else to do it and then i'm like do i look friendly like i just want to know am i giving off this friendly vibe that i'm like please stranger come in the car i just because I, I need to change my face i thought i was giving she's tired with her venti caramel macchiato extra shots of espresso in her hand but clearly that was not the vibe i was giving off so anyway end of story moral of the story is be careful when you're traveling especially when you're traveling alone especially male or female just be careful because people are crazy like you she looked kind of nice but listen i have watched too many damn stories to know that the nice ones could be crazy so that's the end of that but anyway i want to give you guys a tour of the airbnb it's so cute it kind of has like a victorian like you know it's weird because it's like modern but it's like victorian modern it's very cute i love the decor and everything but this is when we walk in it's interesting because they kind of have like a parlor is that how you, i feel like my accent is all the way off but a parlor like a, i'm trying not to sound too nigerian when i say it parla but whatever um here like a sitting room pretty much so this is basically the pot that i don't know if you guys have ever had this but in nigeria we have two we have a parlor and a living room in a sense your parlor is your sitting room where you just communicate with family and there's no like tv in in this room and that's what it is so this is literally right off the oh let me not trip right off the entrance so then if you take a right now you have the official living room that has like your tv like they have such cute decor you guys i'm not even kidding everything kind of like is like antique ish but it all goes really well together like look at this like phone i'm not even gonna lie to you my godparents used to have this type of phone in their house and i thought it was so cool now i'm like this generation doesn't even let alone know what it is to have a phone without a cord i mean a phone with a cord let alone a dial-up spinny one <laughs> so and there's like an antique bird's nest over there no bird though no pets but this is pretty cool so i've introduced you guys to those two rooms then they have an official dining room here again love the decor 
I don't know if you guys can kind of see like the modern modernized Victorian vibes they have the bar cart over there which is definitely a necessity and then we have the beautiful plant here cute kitchen it kind of is giving like farmhouse kitchen in a way and I love it I like how bright and airy it is especially with the white cabinets and everything it definitely brightens up everything off ooh, of the kitchen there are two bedrooms so there's this main bedroom which i think is honestly the master suite um here okay i knew i heard some shit upstairs oh, it's, is it because this house is low-key connected so you could probably hear people coming up and down the stairs but this is kind of like the master of the area your typical bedroom set um nothing too crazy over here um let me turn the light on here and then here you have your oh i love this shower you have your personal bathroom in here. So this is definitely for the main girl, Miss Karen. She is going to be in this room, I'm, I would be assuming. And then we have our mirror here. Hey, y'all. And yeah, typical bathroom. This is really cute. I kind of, I love the way, oh, I love their shower heads too. And the chair and everything. Oh, you could do a whole, I might have to use her bathroom, do my skincare routine video. Then, I'm finally upload for you guys, y'all. But so that was off to the left of the kitchen. But there's also another bedroom to the right of the kitchen. So I think this room is possibly going to the to Karen's BFF, one of Karen's BFFs, and she's the one that did the majority of this planning for this weekend. So she rightfully so deserves this. Um, so it's a cute bedroom here. This one doesn't have an attached bathroom, I don't think but cute cute bedroom this vanity behind me is so cute and has like plugins and everything for the lights that you could turn on and stuff this is low-key perfect for your makeup i have a feeling everyone's coming in here to do their makeup but this is cute um and then i don't know what this door leads to this might be the oh i think that might be the main door the fact that the dresser is here yeah i think that is the main door the fact the dresser is blocking it means don't open but i really like I like those pillows a lot. Okie dokie. So now we're going into kind of like the rest of the bedroom. So this is like a three bedroom house. We have a washer and dryer here. Perfect. Right off of the washer and dryer, we have our own bathroom here. The shower, cute black tile. Look at the chandelier up here, guys. I don't know if you guys can see I'm low key holding this at the most awkward angle right there. And then typical stuff here and all that. And I love when you go places. Granted, I always bring my own shower gel and all that. But they have stuff equipped for you right here, which is perfect. So that makes up for it. And I love how these towels and both bathrooms say makeup on it. I don't know if you guys can see. But it says makeup on it. It's pretty cute. This is really cute. And then I think this is where myself, Ashley, and Sandra are going to um sleep but two bedrooms i think this is definitely a full or a queen at least but um uh, two bedrooms two beds here literally identical decorations and decor and a tv is in here and yeah this must be the peacock room because it's given peacock feathers here and the art back there if i zoom in are like peacock feathers i don't know if you guys i'm zoom in over there i don't know if you could tell the one right there is a peacock feather but that is the tour of the, oh, let me zoom out, y'all. Oh, and then they have like old school, like I guess, news that took place in San Diego here. So I don't even know where this is from, but this, or oh, what year? This is like 1937, the San Diego Union from 1937 as well. Oh, this is the future Mrs. John Roosevelt. Oh, she was cute. Okay, she's serving face she's serving face and then this one is about all-star games baseball stuff what year is this from 1937 okay so i guess that's the main era of the home 1937 so i'm here first i need i'm loving this mirror right here this is where you know all of us are gonna make sure we looking good and do you guys see how snatched your girl's looking after three sessions 
of Pilates. So I cannot wait. I'm honestly, you know when you you get excited, you start your workout routine, everything's looking good. I can't wait. When I go back, I'm going back to solid core, getting even more snatched. Your girl's looking good. Your girl's looking good. So I think my friends have definitely landed by now. I know Kieran has landed. Then I think Sandra's supposed to land next. So, and then they should be on the way. So, if you are looking for a place to stay in San Diego, we're literally like downtown. We're in downtown San Diego. So, it's perfect. You can get to the gas lamp area quickly and all this stuff. But it should be a very, very fun weekend. She says she's grabbing a sandwich while she waits because she's starving. That's what I did too. I grabbed a chocolate croissant and coffee. Oh, man. But I hope you guys are having a good time. I have been productive, y'all. I, first off, you know, your girl flew first class because, my, I don't know if I told you guys this, I, I just, if it's a long flight, I like to do that. And also, if it just makes sense financially, like for example, a flight for some reason from New Jersey out here was like 800 and something dollars and to upgrade it was $175. So it just makes sense, just get the upgrade. The reason why there are benefits, because I know some people are like, oh, it's not worth it. You're getting to the same destination. But if you love to pay for convenience of things, that's me. My money goes towards making sure I live a very convenient life. So, for example, I barely slept. My sleep schedule's been off. Like... It's been off. My sleep schedule has been so off since I came back, like since I was came back to work from vacation or my staycation. And I would have been running late. Like I did not physically get to the airport until 5.15 in the morning. My flight was boarding at 5.45. So if I was not in first class, I would have never had the access to Premier Access. And that line is way shorter. So I literally made it right in time for us to board for group one. If I didn't, <laughs> your girl would have been probably running through the newark airport um that's number one number two you know that there's always going to be space for your carry-on i just love traveling with my carry-on i just have this fear of like my luggage getting lost somewhere or delayed somewhere so i just if i could fit it in a carry-on like when i say my my bag has been through some things that's why I ended up investing in the away bag because after a while my bags, you know, they give out and stuff. But the away luggage has lifetime warranty. So I was like, you know, it's good to invest in that. Um, but yeah, so I put everything in my carry on. You have your carry on with you. It's secure. You know, you're going to have your carry on cool. But another thing is if you are going on a longer trip or further away, like this is going to be like a long weekend type of trip. But if you are going away and you need more luggage, I think it comes with like two free check bags. So again and then another perk is you have food that they give you so i had uh, like a blueberry crepe that was actually really good and then i had like fruit croissants you can have drinks you can have literally any type of drink you want Ver like alcoholic and non-alcoholic it's unlimited so obviously this morning my flight took off at 6 30 so no one's drinking a mimosa at 6 30 but if my flight would have taken off later a mimosa would have been in my hand. It's definitely going to be in my hand on the way back. That's just what it's giving. Um, so yeah, those are a lot of the perks of it. And you just get off and on the plane just very quickly. I don't like waiting. I'm just someone that I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait at the terminal or at the gate, I mean, for my flight. I just don't want to wait. I want to be there the moment you say that my board, my group is boarding. I want to just be getting there so I can just get on the plane and knock out. Because I, the moment the plane wheels start moving on the ground, I am fast asleep. My mother trained me very well. I don't know how she trained me. I must have been a good baby when we were traveling because even if I'm not tired, the moment that the wheels start moving, I'm fast asleep. So it works for me i'm fast asleep but a girl will wake up the moment you want to ask me if i need a drink or if i need snacks or food that's another thing you get extra snacks unlimited you get anything that you want pretty much unlimited which i love so that works for me um so i did end up doing that um so you can also of course book these things these upgrades with your points or money or whatever but yeah but i hope you guys are having a good day i can see the sun is like slowly trying to come out i'm like please just come out I just can't believe that it is 
91 degrees in Jersey right now. And y'all, it is 54 in San Diego. I low-key was like, damn, we could have had this bachelorette party by me. Because we were looking for sunshine and beach weather. They could have come to Jersey. It's beautiful. People are going to the beach. People are living their best lives right now. Like, I was, the past couple of days, I've been living my best life outside. Like, you, when the sun comes out on the East Coast, everybody's in a good mood. You're a new person. That old winter you, she's gone. <laughs> this isn't summer me. Summer me is rising, okay? You just start smiling. Birds are chirping. You smile and say hello to, to the fellow people walking by. Lala's all excited. She's jumping up and down because, you know, she's a Floridian. Lala is Cuban and Nigerian and Ghanaian now because her daddy's Ghanaian. So, yep. But anyway, I am talking so much right now. This is probably the whole video, but I just want to give you guys a tour. I need to finish editing the video that I just have to literally put some more clips in and then that are already kind of shortened up, upload it, do the description, th thumbnail, all that jazz. And we shall be ready to go. So I will catch up with you guys soon.